Hey guys, it's Judy, and I'm here with a haul today. Um, I saw on Facebook that they had, um, people were getting um, dollar washies at um, Office Depot. So of course I had to go check out my <laughs> Office Depot, um, not Office Depot, Office Max. Office Max has the $1 washi, and it is in the their flyer, and it is also advertised online as well. So... Um, they seem to have a limited selection because I was at Office Depot the other week or the other day and um, earlier this week and they had a whole lot more like they had solid colors they had you know um, you know different patterns and stuff like that but they seem to have a lot more selection so I might actually go back tomorrow because actually Office Depot is closer to me than Office Max anyway but I thought I'd price match if I could and I looked online and it seems like they do as long as you show them the ad or whatever and I have an ad for the dollar washi so you guys should check it out too if you're a washi lover like me <laughs> so these are the ones I bought and I don't know if Target price matches this too or I think I got I picked these up at Target for like the two bucks or the two ninety nine or one ninety nine something like that. So you might want to see if they price match too. So I got the superhero one. I got the this mustache one in um, with the orange gingham in the back, um, and it is the <clears throat> Scotch Expressions washi tape. Um, some just say that it's like regular tape and that's like s the regular scotch tape that you use. Material only different colors, but this is the washi ones. So, um, so they had different sizes, widths. They had this wider one. So this has speech bubbles and like, um, little, oops, cartoon character type things on it. So very kid kid friendly <laughs> and then um, they also had this one with the sunglasses they had this nice green wood grain they also had this um, the alphabets um, and this was pretty with the flowers they also had this like weird art deco type of design Oh, and oh, I thought I picked up another one that was the thinner ones, and then it was like um, a red, but it looked not really ombre, but it was like um, like a red, lighter shade of red, and um, like a really light red, and and it wasn't like that ombre effect, but it was just you saw like a clear definition, so it was like sectioned. I guess it was more like. Um, rectangle or square I don't know anyway I thought I picked it up but I didn't and they had this this I like I really like this one this is the travel one they don't have names on them I don't believe no no names but um yeah this is like the travel type post postage postage stamp and so forth and I really like this one um, just black and gray so actually let me open it up and show you if or see for myself how the washi is and it feels you know it's really smooth like that waxy feel like some washies do have and let's do the peel and see how clear it is. So it's pretty thick. And you can see my shadow in the back. Let me see if I have something. Uh, a notepad or something. Here, I have this. Let me see if I can put it on. And yeah, you see the green coming out from underneath. And let's see how it peels off. Good. You know? I don't like when it says it's washy and it actually sticks. <laughs> this is supposed to be like removable. So not too bad. Hey, a dollar. And the width's not too bad. You know, I've gotten thinner than this for more. <laughs> so um, those are my washi. So check them out if you want. 
some washi for a dollar and um, I believe it's till the end of the week so you have two more days today and two more days and then I also found this in the dollar section and it's like post-it notes different rainbow colors um, not rainbow but uh, four different colors and I think it's a butterfly at first I thought it was a butterfly <laughs> So that's that for a dollar. And then I also found um, neon Sharpies at um, at um, Office Max as well. And because I had gone to my local um, Target and Marshalls and I couldn't find them there. I only found like the individual ones for like a buck fifty each. So... Um, but actually, maybe I should have bought it there because I think this was, was it $7.99 here at Office Depot? But let me write them out. There, it comes in the blue, and this is fine, fine point. So let me just see if the colors are actually neon. You know what? They just look like highlighter pens, <laughs> which I kind of thought... They would anyway, but that's what it looks like, the Sharpie markers. So I'm sure you can get it for a cheaper price, but I was there, and Aiden was with me. <laughs> so, And he chose most of the tapes for me. And um, next, I also wanted to share, um, in my last haul I showed at Michael's, I picked up that organizer, um, that Judy, hi Judy, she has the same name as me. She she is also shimmering, and then the number two light. I believe that that's her her YouTube name. But she had recommended um, this organizer to use. Let me see if you can. That um, that she organizes her project life stuff. So I took it out and um, and it looks like this. Well, I can eat. <laughs> you want the Cheez-Its? Okay, one minute, buddy. And piggies fly to the air. Oh, the piggies fly to the air? And, okay. And rescue Cheez-Its. And rescues who? Aiden? No, Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its. Oh, yeah, because, oh, yeah, we have Angry Bird Cheez-Its, so Aiden wants some Angry Bird Cheez-Its. Mommy's going to finish the video, okay? And then, can you let Pepper out in? Pepper's calling. Open the door, buddy. Let's see if he knows how to do that. <laughs> Not that door, buddy. And anyway, this is, um, sorry, the container. Um, let me see if it focuses better. Um, where it has like one, two, three, four rows. And then these are insertable slots that you can just put in to your size. So, um... I got it at Michael's. It was it's originally like eight ninety nine, but all all um, plastic storage is forty percent off. So I got it for five like thirty nine. So I am liking it because it fits right in. I guess I have to raise up this iPad um, to show you. So it um, it lifts up out of this. Let me see the storage case, you know, and it fits right in. Um, you still even have, you know, a little more, you know, that's the bottom, so you still have a little space, so I was thinking I can put stuff on top, like, I don't know if I can put, like, some some kits um, have um, the 6x6 six six paper pads, so I guess you can lay it on top, or some alphas that are really oversized that you can put, so I sectioned it off. This is all my Scraptastic kits. And, like, I, I haven't really been using them, to be honest, but I think it's just because um, I have all my um, core kits ready available, and then um, these are, like, separate. So then I thought I could, if I just want to scrap using the kits, I can just take this out and then just be ready, just have some ink pads or, you know, blocks and stuff and adhesive and scissors, and then I will be ready to do my project life, like while watching TV or whatever. So basically, you know, I have the flare, I have a section for clips, the section for the wood veneers, and these clips, and the file tabs that come with it, and then I had cut up all the banner cutouts, 
and I even fit in the washi, and the washi can actually um, fit upright. Uh, see, one thing about these, I don't know how secure, sometimes they're kind of easy to come in and out. You know, it's like any of like those jewelry box ones, sectionals, that you have to um, snap off the tabs and stuff. So they just kind of... Oops, I can't do it with my left hand. <laughs> so here. So like that. And then, so you can do the washi. And they actually stand upright, and you can still close the iris box. And the iris boxes, I get them at... Um, my Costco still has them, and I think they're like five for like 20 bucks, so it's like four bucks each, which isn't bad. Or you can just get them when they're on sale at um, Michael's as well. So I just put it so I can fit all my um, three by fours here, and then also they have the cutouts that they give you, and this, and the stamps that come with the kits, and then these cutouts as well. And then the four by sixes over here. And then whatever alphas I just kind of put on the top. So I'm really liking it. I haven't, I've just organized it, but I haven't really um, sat down and done a project yet um, using the style. But um, I remember doing my Kelly Perky kits, and that's all I had. And then I had everything all together. And um, I had fun doing it that way because then when you have so much stuff, too much stuff, it's like you're overwhelmed with um, what to use. But if you kind of set aside which ones you want to use and keep it together in like a box like this, it doesn't have to be kits. It can be stuff you put together by yourself or, or you know, if you have wood veneers or washi that you want to start using, just put it in, uh, you know, one of these boxes and then you can actually get to use, challenge yourself to just use what's in the box and use the journaling cards in the box. So I think this is great to kind of um, keep stuff in. You know, you don't have to overflow it with stuff and then just kind of have the basic stuff to do either a layout or, you know, project life. And then um, I think it's neat. But the thing is, everything has to be within these columns. So it's not like you can take this column out to make something wide because I couldn't put my 6x6 six six in because they have these dividers. Um, so this is a wider width, a more, a more narrow, and then narrow and narrower like that. And then you just put the slots in this way, if that makes sense. So, but like I said, you can just put the 6x6s six on top because you still have like this much to the cover, you know, the cover. So that's that. Oops, it's overflowing. <laughs> Our time is running out. So, all right. Hope this was helpful. Bye, guys.